Hey guys, let me show you an easy way to make a brake slide with timer on it. No plugging or coding required. Very, very easy. Anyone can do it. If you are in rush, you are super busy, you can also download this ready to use file. Link is in the description. All right, here I am in PowerPoint. I will insert new shape. I will pick circle. Hold the shift to keep it as a perfect circle. All right. Here it is. Now I can simply double click to add text inside the shape. See you in five minutes. All right. I can select the text, make it larger, easier to read. I will keep it aligned to the center. You can also modify the font. All right, it's time to change formatting. So I will get rid of outline and I will change the fill color to yellow. All right. Maybe some extra effects. We can also add that. If you use a new version of PowerPoint, there will be effects tab that you can apply some additional visual styles like this one. Or maybe this one. All right. Now I can simply copy and paste the circle. So right click, copy, right click, paste. And here's the copy. I can change the text. See you in four minutes. I will do the same thing this time with shortcut. Comment C, Comment V. See you in three minutes. And again, copy and paste. See you in two minutes. And the last one. See you in one minute. All right. So we got five circles. And now what I want to do, I want to select odd numbers and I will change color for them like this. We are ready to select all circles together and we will align them in the middle of our slide. So before that, I will need to reorder them. See so in one minute at the back, this one to the front. So we got like five, four, three, two, one. All right, now I'm just bringing stuff back or to the front, send it back or bring it to the front. You can do it by right clicking on the shape. And now everything is in correct order so I can align to the center horizontally and vertically. Perfect. What I want to do with them now, I want them to act as a timer for me. So I want the first circle, see you in five minutes to disappear. And I want the animation for that first circle to take around exactly one minute. So I select all circles now and I'm going to select animation and I want to apply exit effect. Not the green one, not the yellow one, but the red one, red animation to make this shape disappear. I apply exit effect, will, all correct. Now I need to change duration of that effect. You can go up using this arrow or you can simply type from your keyboard. The highest value you can type is 59 seconds. So we got one more second. We can use the delay here, delay between animations. So we got animation pen with this extra menu on the right. You can add one second delay. So we got 56 seconds plus one second, 60 seconds, exactly one minute. Now they will all play in the same time. So we need to change that after previous. So the next one will only play after the previous is finished. Let's reorder them. We want five minutes to play first, four minutes, three, two. All right. And the first one, five minutes will start when I click. So change this on click. So when I click, the first one will start to disappear and it will take exactly one minute for him to disappear. After it's finished, the next one will start to disappear automatically, etc. So let's take a look. Slideshow, play from start. I'm going to click. And as you can see, this one start to disappear slowly. It will take exactly one minute to disappear. So 
After one minute you will see a new message, see you in four minutes. And then you will see next one, see you in three minutes. This way you can me measure exactly five minutes. And your viewers got also this feedback, they know exactly how much time do they have left so they can manage their own time before the next part of your lecture, your class start, will start, all right? And you can use this method to modify the length of that. As you can see, I make circles and each circle is exactly one minute long. I make five, you can make 10, 15 circles. So it's really easy to modify how long you want, how long the break you want to be, all right? This method don't require you to code or install plugins or import some long heavy videos into your slides, all right? Just simple shape and then we make this shape to disappear. And we want the duration of this process of this animation to be one minute. All right, as you can see, it's working for me. It's slowly disappearing one by one and it will take exactly five minutes for all of them to disappear. Okay, guys, I will left this video going. Maybe someone want to use that in their own YouTube video or stuff like that. So I will left this here for you guys to use. And remember, there is a file, ready to use file in the description. So you can grab that and use it straight away. Thank you. And please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more tech content. See you in the next one.